50 years old and has been having some shoulder dysfunction um, on the right side for about a year now, correct? Mm -hmm. And then the left side is starting to bother you a little bit. A little bit, yeah. So I want to talk today mostly about a correlation that helps us with the diagnosis of this problem. So first thing I want you to do is take a look at his motion, okay? So I'm going to have you lift the arm like this, okay. so straight up, yep, while you're facing the camera. Okay, good, and back down, and now up to the side, and way up as high as you can go. Notice he's having a hard time over here, will that other one go all the way up? Okay, so we have some limitation here, now you can bring your arms down. Can you reach up behind your head? So very restricted here, he has a hard time externally rotating. And can you reach up behind your back? And that's quite limited also, okay? So when I check him out, I notice that passively, he doesn't really have much more than he does actively. So a pretty good sign that he has adhesive capsulitis. And when I check his rotator cuff strength, he's very strong in all positions. Um, but one of the things that we did notice uh, when he came in is that he has signs of Dupuytren's contractures. I don't know if you can see this, but pretty, pretty good Dupuytren's contracture right here. And he's starting on this side a little bit also. So whenever I see a male who has stiffness in the shoulder like that, you can rest that hand, um, and I notice that they have Dupuytren's contractures, there's a very close correlation between frozen shoulder and Dupuytren's. He's not diabetic, doesn't have a thyroid problem. Uh, and so, you know, we look at this and say, hmm, this gentleman's going to be tight. So I like to look at this also prior to shoulder surgery, if they ever have so shoulder surgery, because I can pretty much predict that they will be stiff and tight if they do have the Dupuytren's contractors. So just something to take into consideration when you see your patients and evaluate them. If they have the contractor, um, it's, it's possible that that could be contributing to a stiff and tight shoulder. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and take care.